How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today we're going to talk about civilizations. Now I haven't changed my civilization for like two years. I love France. I think it's the best civilization. I am however on the fence for a different civilization which we'll go over. But uh, take a look, stick around, hit the like and subscribe if you like these videos and let's get into it. Okay, here are the civilizations. Um, this screen can be found pretty simply by going, let's just hit the help button, go into your profile photo, right on, right next to your name is civilizations. Usually you start, I believe you have a civilization change item in your inventory. If not, there's another civilization coming soon. Lilith released it a couple days ago, I think for Christmas or Christmas Eve. Um, so that's coming soon. So you'll probably get another civilization change item, which is fantastic. Good to have. I still have two in my inventory. Cause like I said, I haven't used one in a long time. Previously I was Germany. I think this was great as a starting player training troops, action point recovery for barbs and cavalry attack because really everybody at one point has uh, used cavalry, whether it's Belisarius or Tau Tau to hit farms in uh, KVK when you're either on the losing side or you have access to the enemy zone. Uh, Rome, I've never been Rome. I don't think it's that great. Maybe some people have Rome. Maybe there's opinions out there for it. Um, Britain, never used it. It has troop training speed, which is great. Archer attack, I don't think that's great for starting off. I don't think anybody at the beginning of the game is archer based. You probably have YSG. But to be full archer in KVK1 or KVK2, probably not going to happen. There's just not enough commanders for it. Okay, so Vikings. Uh, that I haven't tried. Infantry attack, good. Counter attack damage, plus 3% good. Troop load, farming, not a big deal. Just train more T1 siege. Uh, China is great to start with because you get Sun Tzu. So you'll have them for KVK1. Fantastic commander as a secondary I don't suggest using him as primary. Maybe you have to, but he is a huge target in the open field. So putting him behind uh, Richard or Charles Martel is probably your best bet. Uh, this one has troop defense by three, which is good because it's all troops. Uh, action point recovery by five and building speed up of 5%. Definitely good for start, uh, start of game. I would definitely, if I was to restart or start a new character, which I might do eventually, um, I would probably choose China, mostly for Sun Tzu, but also building speed up and, and the buffs are pretty decent. Japan, I don't know anybody who has Japan. I don't suggest it. Scout March speed by 30%. Not something you need, ever. Um, Korea, uh, Archer defense by 5. Hospital capacity is nice and research speed by 3%. That's nice too. Um, unfortunately, Yulji, or I don't even know how to say his name to be honest with you. I don't think he's a great commander. I haven't used him in the field for a very long time. I haven't used him in anything for a very long time. Uh, Spain, uh, Pelagius is great. Um, I used him a lot at start of game. Um, not the best stats, production boost by 20%. Uh, barbarians experience from them 10% and guardians help you level up, but that's about it. And cavalry defense by 5%, it's not bad. I don't suggest Spain though. You can get Pelagius other ways. Um, Arabia. Now Arabia is pretty cool. Um, damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units by 10% and damage dealt by rallied armies by 5%. I have seen some whales use this. If they're cavalry based, that's great. You get the special unit, you get the extra attack. I don't think many people are using it nowadays, but when it first came out, I did see it quite a bit. Now Ottoman Empire. That I was leaning towards this KVK, and that's because I was running Ramses, Naboo, Gilgamesh, YSG. Those were my marches for rallying, and I used them in open field as well. Increased archer health. Health is fantastic by 5%. It's got the special unit, which adds buffs to it as well. Lots of information online. I'll put a link down below for that uh, information on special units. Um, troop march speed, 5%. Fantastic for archers because they cannot escape fast enough unless you've got Ramses who has the skill for running away when he's being attacked and skill damage by 5%. Archers 
have huge skill damage. Just look at Naboo, look at Ramses, YSG, um, Gilgamesh. Everybody has skill damage. So this was, I was really leaning towards this. Um, now we'll just go over this one before I start talking about France again. Byzantine? Byzantine? I'm not going to pretend I know how to say these. Butchering it. Sorry in advance. Uh, cavalry health by 5%, which is good. And hospital uh, capacity by 15%. Also really good. Stone gathering speed, whatever. Just pop 50% gathering boost and you're good enough. Um, so back to France, just because I was weighing the option and then one of the other whales here, the, the biggest whale, Cherith, said he was actually switching back to France. So he, I believe he was either Ottoman or Arabia or something before, but he switched to France for this KVK because of the hospital healing speed. It is so beneficial when you are um, T5, which I am at, and most of my troops, I have a lot in the hospital, so my power is a little low right now. Most of my troops are T5. When I fight in the field, it's primarily T5 troops. Um, T4 is great, but your trades aren't going to be that good. And a lot of the fighting we did this KVK was actually not close to our cities. So running out with T5, which lasted longer in the field and took better trades, was the best situation for us. I do love using T5 just to see some of the reports come back against T4. Yes, T4 is less healing, less uh, speed for healing, less resources for healing. But um, when you're talking, you know, three to one, four to one trades against a T5 player, it really doesn't help that much. Your hospital fills up too fast. And that was one thing that I was finding is that I was running out of helps because you only get a thousand helps a day and I was having to speed them up. So when my hospital was filling up, I have no issues with resources. You'll see I've got another video card up at the top. I have six farms farming for me all the time. That's 30 marches of farmers all the time. I think five of six of them have trading post level 25. So not paying much taxes when you transfer the resources. And as you can see, I'm not low on resources. Resources are not my, my problem. My problem is speed ups. I ran out of healing speed ups. You can see here, I'm just starting to refresh what I had. I was jumping into universal speed ups for healing. So to avoid using universal speed ups, which you don't want to use for healing, it's good to save them, whether you're going to push Mightiest Governor or Zenith of Power, which I can't push this time because I did use a lot of universal speed ups, um, not just on healing, but on Bastion quests as well. I'm not going to lie about that. That's been mostly where my speed ups have gone this KVK, just for the crystal tech. Um, but really my main issue was speed ups. So when you're talking France having 20% healing speed, and you'll go up here, healing speed right here, I have 140%. That's not including a 15% healing rune. And that's not including, now how much is, let's quickly go to holy sites. And let's take a look at what the buff is for a kingdom buff. I love the kingdom buff that Lilith added for healing. It's been fantastic. Let's jump into here. It's under buffs. So 30% you get from when your kingdom pops this and it lasts for eight hours. Fantastic. Best to use this at around 20 UTC. In my opinion, you can finish off your thousand helps and you still have the healing buff for the first four hours of reset, which gives you another thousand helps. So just my opinion using it then sometimes you don't have an option. You just need to pop it. But if you can wait till 20 UTC, awesome. You get a new batch of runes. You probably still have runes available at 20 UTC for healing. So that's my opinion on that. But for, uh, let me just go back to my city, which is going to take a second because I got to go back to Lost Kingdom here. But for adding all of those buffs, I still think, oops, wrong one. Oh, and you know what? Actually, while we're in here, when things are really bad and I'm not fighting, but I'm still healing, I'm lucky enough to have Persian Dream, which gives you only 3% more healing speed but everything helps it's really that painful when you have a full hospital of t5 and you're out of helps but you still have to go fight smashing those uh, speed ups really hurts but 
uh, healing speed. So we have 140% now, 15% for training rune, and 30% more for kingdom buff with the civilization feature. Like it really adds up. You're going to have quite a bit for uh, holy sites, VIP. I'm only VIP 16, and I know some people might say only, but only VIP um, 16. Does it go up? I know healing resources does. Training action point all damage. I can't wait for the all damage plus 5%. That's fantastic. But no, I have just 5% more healing resource consumption, which again, I'm not too worried about the resources. I know it hurts. Um, but again, I between KVKs, I'm able to save enough. I'll have one and a half billion per on resources. So I'm not too worried about my resources. It's mostly the speed ups for healing t5 okay so i finished that so yeah it, i don't really have a full hospital to show you but that is really uh, let me just pop into my city here again our civilizations so that's really why i think france is the best um you have increased troop health by three percent for all of your troops so you not only get the special unit for throwing axemen which is infantry which I do use a lot of. I have Guan, I have Leo, I have Alex, I have Richard, Charles Martel. I have all those guys' expertise. So I do use two to three marches in open field for infantry. So that helps. Troop health on archers, that's going to help. I don't use cavalry marches, but that's still going to help. That's still 3% for uh, cavalry. Wood gathering speed doesn't matter, but hospital healing speed up is the best. I think this is the best civilization Unless Lilith comes up with the next civilization, including hospital speed up and maybe something, maybe archer related, then I'll probably switch to that. But I think for now, I'm going to be stuck with holding on to, oh, where do I have them right here? Two civilization changes. I imagine that'll be three soon with the new change Lilith is coming out with. But I really think people should stick around with France. If you're not France, really consider it if you have T5 troops. Even if you have T4 troops, but you're fighting against T5, might be worth it. I don't think you're going to run out of resources. I think you're going to run out of speed ups. I think that's where everybody's going to battle is not the resources, especially when you're talking about huge resource nodes like this, you know, level nine, level nine, so many resources to grab. Lots of people have farms. People have help from other t5 players in your kingdom i know i actually got a lot of wood resources from people this kvk very appreciative to that i didn't exactly need it i was willing to trade my stone because i didn't have it but they had more than enough wood they just said take it we don't need it it's yours you need it heal your archers because that's what i'm based as but that's my suggestion i think people should really look at france if you're not france already if you're germany and you're doing troop training great but really, if you're thinking about fighting with T5 or even T4, really think about France. That is my suggestion. Good luck to everybody. I hope you're uh, either in KV or will be in KVK soon because I've had a lot of fun this KVK and I already cannot wait till the next one. But until next time, guys, thank you for joining me. Please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you later.